Knock knock. Who is there? It's me! Arcadia and my chocker fuck of troops. 10 enemy acts, 10 floors available, 46 nuggets. That's a deal you won't even get at your local MACDs, I'm pretty sure. Damn, I can't wait for this. I know a few things about it already, because people have told me that it took them several hours to beat. People that are... people that might. People that could be better at the game than me. Oh, let's be honest. Everyone. Most likely. No, not everyone. Sometimes I'm quite... That's okay, I'm just... Can you smell my anxiety? Because I think I've just pissed myself. Once the reception of the... Not gonna do the intro again. Once the reception of the Reverberation Ensemble begins, you cannot send invitations or burn books until its conclusion. Will you proceed? Well, the conclusion could be me losing, right? So... I also just backed up my save file. Oh man, the past few weeks I've been like tweaking decks left, right and center. However, <laughs> I will have to preface this by saying that they are mostly untested. <laughs> I just had a few crazy ideas I wanted to try and some flaws I'm really not happy with, but I just want to play. God damn it. I will proceed. <laughs> it's a narration monologue. I just heard some knocking, so I guess they really are knocking. Oh, can you just break into the library like that? I mean, it is becoming real slowly, just like Angela is becoming a real girl, but... Oh, fuck, this is not voiced. Maybe I should have waited. Oh, god damn it! It's like cock a doodle do and, and yeehaw, donkey dog. Um... Nee, boy, cluck, cluck, off, ba, wa, woof. It's the new single by Snoop Dogg. Knock, and the door shall open. It's, okay. Pluto, um, like, the musicians and, um, the Blood Red Knight. I don't know. Talk about stupid strong. Oh, Greta. Look at those hands, man. How many mouths are there? Just imagine. Haha, <laughs> cooking is a test of endurance after all. Does she have a tail? Why does she look so weirdly like... Uh, what's it called? Not a fragment of the universe, the other one. It's been a while since I played Lobotomy Corporation. Apparently I can't remember the abnormality's name, but everyone will know which one I talk about. The crazy one with the kid that has been like tested with drugs or something, uh, experimented on. Uh, what was the name? I'm, I'm gonna be thinking about that name like for the next... A whole episode. Whatever you say, sister. Now, friends, you're going to frighten the residents of this place. They might end up hiding. We're introducing our whole group to them for the first time, so we should be polite about it, no? Ah, oh, bless Argelia. <laughs> they might turn us away if we're too noisy. Philip is here, okay. If they do, then we'll just have to break in and wreck them. What is the deal with Tanya anyway? Where did she come from? Where did she go? Like, what is she doing here? Why did she join? We know nothing about her. Maybe we will learn something about her, though. So this is the famed library. I've heard many things about it, but to see it myself. You used to lead a circus and humble tent for such a long time. And I thank you for changing the hat. With your help, I could finally step out of that tent filled with the musty scent of flowers. I... Uh, Actually, I'm not really sure if I like that they're all wearing the same stuff. Like, I really like the singular unique designs and that they retain some of it, but all of them wearing like this kind of business-like attire. Except for Galia, he's like the special snowflake in a bunch, I guess. But these suits are apparently... Man, if they really are that strong, imagine if they had reached the purpose of... Like, Sayo was retrieving them, right? For the fun. That would have given them a 1-up against the Index, I guess? Know how tiring it was to deal with your antsy antics? You almost got one of us popped! I was not in my right mind at that time. Why, I thought you were simply trying to perform with me! Still, I think it's truly serendipitous that we could walk the same path in the end. I feel the same. Sir Galia gave us true salvation. 
<laughs> no, don't mention it, friends. I couldn't have done this alone. I should be thanking you all. By the by, it seems no one is here to greet us today. Rough, off, off, rough, knee! Cock, cock, knee! Walk! <laughs> I wonder what he said there. <laughs> Must have wimped out and hid behind a shelf. But there they are. Are you a lot insane? You can't just fling the door open by force. That's the first, I gotta admit. Damn, he looks so chat with his new gloves. Perhaps this is an indication that the library has grown close enough to the physical realm that it can be interacted with from the outside? They should be afraid of the head now, right? And we knocked several times too, mind you. If you wrap your dirty fists on a door and no one responds, what you should do is leave, not break in. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Angela's actually right for once. <laughs> Don't get your skirt in a twist. We were in a bit of a hurry, so to speak. They're being chased as well, right? Pluto, do your job. Not gonna sign any fucking contracts. But of course, I shall see to it that the entrance is repaired in no time. What is Pluto's power? Like, he can do so many different things. Like, isn't he the one teleporting them as well or something? Or am I thinking of something else right now? He has this weird contract with the small fine print. He can, like, rip out hearts with no biggie. He... Oh, God damn it. Is that a singularity? Singularity? Such a preposterous claim. It must be his own distorted power or something. It's magic! <laughs> we are truth seekers and artists perched on the boundary as we search for an answer. You haven't been taken over by the distortion. How is that possible? To eat or be eaten. We're walking a fine line at the crossroads. The so-called pale librarian has fully become a human, huh? I can't even call her pale anymore. That's a shame. She now has red blood coursing beneath her soft flesh. That must turn her on. I want to rip out every little blood vessel in your body and eat it. The veins of a machine turned human. How will they taste, I wonder? Easy there, Elena. That stuff tastes better cooked than raw. The thought is making my mouth water. I respect your preferences, but please save discussions about them for private conversation. Wow. <laughs> she respects it? <laughs> What's the business here anyway? We don't feel like giving any books to you. I didn't invite you here either. Yeah, this is entirely out of, like, um, the library's will, right? Because by now, the invitations have gone out due to the library. It was out of our reach as well. We didn't really influence it. But their day coming here is unexpected. Well, in a way, we expected it, but... Like, in, in world. It is unexpected. I heard that the ends we seek lies at the library, at its very core. And we've come to snatch that book with our forky tongue. Angela, we are aware that you have nearly completed that volume. Who said anything about giving it away? I never said anything about asking permission either. Oh, he knows what's up. Ah, oh, right, Roland. It's been a while since I got to have a chat with you in peace. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk. You won't talk to me? <laughs> It's heartless of you, and I had good news for you too. Well, we've brought along the person you wanted to meet so dearly, actually. Huh? What? Truth be told, I didn't want her to meet you again. The two of you were comparable to a marriage between a beautiful rose and a rabbit beast. Wait. No. I was just thinking that we had, like, uh, the, the clone stuff with Arcorp. But we didn't see anything about Agalia back then. Like, Arcorp was an entirely separate branching storyline this time. Nothing to do with the ensemble, because if he had stolen their singularity or something, could he have replicated Angelica? That would be crazy. Though, a love story that ends with the lovers never getting to see each other again would be too tragic, wouldn't you say? So I decided to take her with us. What bullcrap are you? Oh god, no. <laughs> it's been a while, Roland. Have we met before? Well, if I do remember correctly, and if my assumption was correct as well, I believe that Roland has met with at least uh, Eileen's father and Jae Hoon, because there was something in the Bina realization 
where Roland was going crazy and was he going crazy at that point or was it just his regular fixer book? I can't remember, but he killed like a gear person and some kind of dude with some puppet stuff going on. And thinking of puppets, one should immediately think of Jae Hoon, right? How could I forget? She wouldn't shut up about you. She? That's right. Angelica had much to say. Oh, that is just fucked up. Oh, good lord. It even... I mean... It's very... <laughs> pardon the pun, but it's very bare bones, but... Oh dear, was it too much? That must... It would break him down. I'm very sure it would break him down if we hadn't done the realizations. If there are different endings to this game, then this would be the breaking point for Roland. Right? It would make a lot of sense. What's wrong? Are you at a loss for words by the reunion of your dreams? Shouldn't he be unnerved by this? Well, he is crazy, but it's his sister! I thought he loved her! What motherfuckery are you trying to pull? There's no trickery here. Or are you so mesmerized by a polished up beauty that you can't stop admi admiring her? Dude, <laughs> not even I would stick my dick in that. Argelia! Oof! How intimidating. What's the problem? You finally met your beloved Angelica once more. Oh, don't tell me. Fell in love at first sight for the second time? Want to steal Angelica from me yet again? No, you won't. I won't let that happen this time. You don't deserve Angelica. She deserved better than having a life ruined by the likes of you. Do you feel anything when you look at that mess you made out of her? Sure, so she... Uh, wait, this is... It's it's the, the good old corpse problem once more. H how and when did they retrieve her body, really? How could they preserve it that well? Well, we have a few flesh manipulators among them. It takes a certain kind of skill to rip out the veins of a human. Jae Hoon is obviously some weird ass puppeteer magician. Pluto has tricks up his sleeve. Um, am I missing something? Like, it must have been a team effort, I guess. But still, this is. You must be quite bedazzled by a perfected form. You're not gonna croak in peace. I'll chew you up alive, crunch your bones to dust. You're still bound to the past, blind to the present, Roland, you fool. Try looking into the future like I do. Do you know how hard Jae Hoon worked for this? Sorting out the corpses clustered within a piano was an arduous task, even for me. Ooh. Ooh. I went through a fair bit of trouble next to him. I had to extract Angelica's blood out of the pile of bodies bloated from the heat. As I said, it must have been a team effort. The piano? Oh fucking hell, Angela, you really don't know? <laughs> how, how, I mean, <laughs> how clear does it have to be? <laughs> I, I, I call it dense, like, a lot, but this is <laughs> a little bit too much. What? <laughs> I can legitimately laugh at that. Uh, my, oh my, was it too early to reveal this? Oh, I'm so sorry, Roland. I didn't ruin your little plan by accident, did I? Whoa, plan? So, wait. Oh, then, does Agelia... Oh, I guess Agelia thinks that Roland wanted revenge too, and that's why he came in here. Investigating the source of the distortion and stuff. They are on opposite sides, really, because Agelia is embracing the distortion while Roland is trying to get rid of its source completely. Or at least that's what Agelia thinks. But I think over the course of these realizations, Roland has learned to except both past, present, and future awaiting him, um, and thus also learn to accept that Angela might have been at fault indirectly, but there's also merit in forgiving her, I guess. Again, that seems like another like point where the story could branch, whether or not you did Roland's realizations or not. Sorry, I talked about this on stream with, with a few people, like what I think of Roland and if, if there's going to be several endings and what, what I think how his and Angela's story should or will end. And I do think there's going to be several bad ends. 
depending on how many realizations it did, for example. Because there's a certain... Mm, let's let's just skip ahead. Let's. I want to play. Is this about the pianist? <laughs> off, off. <laughs> Even I know that fact. All your smarts were good for nothing, eh? This show is getting spicier than I thought. <laughs> I was trying to hold it in. I really was. But this is too hysterical. I can't hold back my tears. Joke of the century. <laughs> You naive, moronic heap of scrap. Angela, you're the one who killed that black-hearted bastard's undeserved better half. Do you see it now? You're the one who killed my sister. Quite a scene indeed. Even I cannot help but laugh at this. A white nights and dark days caused a distortion phenomenon, which made the pianist. Yeah, I mean, she should be able to, like, count one and one together to make two, right? Angela's, she is dense, but she's... Like, not stupid. And you, Angela, are responsible for the white nights and dark days. The relation couldn't be any clearer. Whenever I see Philip, I get, like, irrational, ir irrationally? Irrationally angry, that's what I wanted to say. Could have been on our side, Philip. Poor Miss Angela, how can you be still so blind to the truth? Why are you looking at me again? It's not my fault, Angela. Why do I feel like you're constantly looking at me, judging me, belittling me? Like, in your mind, stepping on me. That could just be me, though. Cut it out. You're being calmer than I expected this time, rather than, you know, throwing a furious fit. That rabbit psycho whopped a whole lot of syndicates and officers that were running experiments, which seemed even a tiny bit suspicious. Hmm... I do have to wonder, like, Tanya seems, uh, now that we know that he, Roland has a connection to some of them at least, I mean, I don't know the connection to Oswald, for example, where they, well, maybe they needed Oswald's, like, weird-ass distortion powers, um, but about Tanya, as I said before, we don't know a lot about her background. What if she was a member of which syndicate did Roland kill by himself? Like, the middle or something he eradicated? A lot of them? Maybe Tanya was a member of the middle. And that's why she joined Argalia to take revenge or something? Man, if that is true, like, it, it would be a good guess. And his blind rampage affected us as well. Here we go, it's gonna be the revelation. I guess I'm gonna get some answers. Roland, I don't expect you to remember us. All I wanted was to bring back my son who had died in an unfortunate incident. There was no way for me to be, have anything to do with the death of your wife. I explained it all to you, and yet, you killed my son in cold blood in that workroom. I, I thought he was already dead. Like, can you kill what's already dead? Oh god, are we gonna have to kill Angelica now? You were such a merciless being. Right. What's the place with a terrible stench? This was unexpected. You actually remembered it. Looking at that puppet, I can't help but be reminded of it. I guess he got more skillful since then, even though your disgusting method hasn't changed one bit. He should have recognized him on the train immediately, right? Roland, either you were hiding things from us even more than you already did, I guess, or you, you were just <laughs> legit not thinking. <laughs> no singularity could save my son when he was found. He was in an abysmal state. He was playing in a spot that was out of my sight, when he unfortunately got in the way of a road roller? Which was flattening the road in the back streets free development. This is like a freak accident that belongs in... <laughs> what, is Dio gonna turn up and throw it at him or what? <laughs> a road roller? How do you die? Due to a road roller? Watch out! They're not going like 50 miles an hour or something. Jay Hoon! Your son was an idiot! <laughs> this is. Couldn't they, have the, couldn't, they have the, couldn't they have thought of a different way to die? Oh, my son was like killed by a syndicate member or some shit, I don't know. 
I shouldn't have been at work that day, but I still wanted to undo what happened, even if it cost everything I had. Wow, let me guess, you had to go to work because of, like, Roland, I don't know, stepping on a snail earlier that day, and, like, that snail killed millions. Life really is unfair. <laughs> What's more, the revival of my son was nearly complete. But then you had to intervene moments before our touching reunion and ruin it all. You still insist that that thing was your son. All it was was an abomination made with the flesh of random people weaved together. You don't get to decide the worth of my method, or the ways of anyone else here for that matter. I never did any harm to you. The worst thing I did was use the bodies of children who'd already gone astray and lost their lives during the night. Mm, you didn't kill them? Still, it's wrong to just use random corpses. Even so, if the parents of those kids wanted to hold me accountable, I was ready to accept their judgement. Not yours, Roland. You had no right to kill my son who was just about to be given new life or judge me for my actions. Well, that's like saying the law shouldn't be allowed to judge me or something <laughs> because I didn't directly hurt that police officer or something, right? Right? I mean, <sighs> God damn it. the logic is almost flawless, Jay. <laughs> that day, staring at the fire which engulfed all I had, I swore to myself that I'd do everything to make you suffer the same, to make the stamped world suffer as well. Is he going to disassemble Angelica in front of him? He didn't think this through, did he? There was no justification for a maniac who was lashing out at blameless people to kill my son. Then I came across another chance. I could awaken to this power. But I was confused and lost my way for a good while. My head was brimming with all kinds of thoughts. That was when the orchestrator here reached out to me and led me to this exact moment. That's that. And this is this. Whatever you'd gone through. You shouldn't have fucked with my wife! Oh, it's, is it the first time we see him with this sprite? Like, legitimately angry? It doesn't matter what kind of miserable past you have anymore. I don't even care if I was the reason for your suffering. But you! YOU! Oh God, fucking, he's gonna burst a vein. Roland, calm down. What's the matter? This isn't like you. Not like me, huh? You've got the wrong impression, then. Ooh. Ooh. Very cinematic. Ah, this is taking such an amusing turn. Don't get me wrong, Angela. I'm not here to get my revenge like that man with a heart of coal is. It's the opposite, rather. I'm thankful for you, you see. You gave us the power to reach here, sister. Thank you for opening up a path through which we can reach salvation. Here. We'll take the light of the library and illuminate the city with beauty that exceeds the pianists. So that no one will ever be able to forget us. That's why, Angela, you have my deepest gratitude. Let me express my appreciation as well. I could shake him up as I desired thanks to your ignorance. As eager as I am to see what happens next with my googly eyes, we'll have to miss out on it, sadly. Now, get ready then. The song of this city is approaching its coda. And you have your stories to keep, don't you? Nee! Bok, bok, bok! Woof! Arf, ruff, ruff, ruff. Why am I voicing this? Roland, don't say a word. We still have a common goal of stopping our Galia. Okay. Oh! This is the moment I've waited for! Oh! Oh, this feels so good. This isn't how I imagined it would be, but this feels like the first time getting into the endgame cycle again. We can forfeit, but why would we do that? We can't... Okay, we have to do the lower or rather upper floors in this game first. Malkiv, yes, hot, hot and that's like, don't look at Hot's floor. I'm not sure what I did there, but it, I think it doesn't work. Let's do Malkiv first. Malkiv is very weird. It's burn, but Nicole has a twist. Maybe I'm gonna explain. Oh god, I don't know how many... Like, apparently it takes like upwards of 8 hours to do this. Which I could see happening. I don't know how many fights there's gonna be in a single episode, but I assume it's gonna be several episodes of me greeting the uninvited guests, so this will be part 1. Everything is locked. 
<laughs> Let's go. Are you ready to begin the reception on the floor of history? Oh, this, this, like, very, very quiet ambient sound in the background. The calm before the storm. <gasps> Fighting against Philip! Oh, everything is ineffective. Okay, there must be a trick to that. Let's see. Philip. 550 HP. 160 stack resistance. That's like. That's okay. Nuovo Fabric. Take 1 to 2 less damage and stagger damage from attacks. That's pretty cool. Shimmering. Okay. Takes no damage from burn. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Ah! <laughs> Mad Cap! <laughs> Almost everyone here is burning enemies, except for the goal, and she's not really dealing any damage at all. Okay. When inflicting burn using combat pages, apply one additional stack. Whenever the emotion level rises, inflict free burn to all characters, including self. He must have a card that heals him with burn, kinda like Xiao has. Gain power by half the current emotion level, round it down. If the character has 50 no more... Oh. Oh. If the character is 50 no more burn at the start of the scene, become overheated, dealing more damage with attacks, but becoming more vulnerable to stagger damage as well. So I want to burn him! Oh, it's kind of like, um... No, oh, what's it called? Icarus! Like, well, melting him. Getting to the sweet, sweet, like, crying angel inside of him. <laughs> While overheated, inflict one burn to target on hit, and inflict one burn to attacker when hit. HP does not go, go below 60% of max HP. When staggered, proceeds to the next phase, changing resistances and purge all status ailments from self. Okay. Here's the Wound of Sorrow again, we remember that one. Here's Restrain again, I also remember that one. Combusting Courage. Target has 10 or more burn, inflict one burn to all characters, three times. Fierce Spirit. Oh, it's very small print. When inflicting burn next scene, inflict two more stacks. Gain two strength next scene. That's a cool card. Here's hoping that we're gonna get that. Searing Resolution. Flick one burn to each other. Well, just in case, I guess, um... Just in case you have no burn on this floor, but you kinda need to burn him, I guess they also had to implement some burn for him. Let's see, I could fail right here, right now, immediately. And that would be that, and this would be this. Welcome! I'm the patron librarian of the Floor of History, and your opponent, Malkov! Hmm, are you going to say anything? Oh, look at her! What more do I have to say to you? Well, Malkov is single, Philip. I don't know if you knew, but, you know, we could turn this all around. I'm pretty sure you always wanted a girlfriend. Are you holding some sort of grudge because you think we took everything from you? Maybe so. You don't sound all that certain about it. Well, yeah, we certainly didn't cock you. There are remnants of memories and feelings inside me. I'm not sure if I forgot them or lost them, though. Those feelings only become more dull over time. Well, do you remember about no one's gonna suffer on my behalf anymore? Or did you forget about that completely? I imagine myself in the past would have gotten upset and sad over those, unable to let go of them all. Right now? I'm simply standing here for the performance that will awaken the people of the city like everyone else. I have to say his distortion form is kind of weird, I don't know what it's supposed to represent. Obviously there's like these hands that... I mean, yeah. Hmm. I have no hard feelings, other than a desire for the light you've kept hidden. Don't you feel that you've lost something important to you? Damn! Malkov is reasonable. She really tries to convince him, I guess. Having my happiness taken away doesn't always mean that sadness has to fill that space. I haven't become intrinsically unhappier. I've simply returned to the past state, back when I hadn't realized such emotions, back before I met them. I'm sure I wasn't a miserable man at that time. If you have to... <laughs> the music is oddly goofy for this, I have to say. If you have to part with such emotions and memories, what'll be left for you? Nothing. I don't feel sad about that, though. 
Why are people taught that they must earn things, jobs, assets, friends, family, knowledge, wealth? They tell us that our lives are made successful and content by acquiring them, whatever they may be. Even though nothing in this world lasts forever, what we get is destined to depart from us one day. Yes, but you should rather be glad that you had it, instead of being sad that you lost it. Eventually, when people try and fail to latch onto them in an unsightly struggle, they despair and lament. I did too. Do relationships between people really matter? They'll all break in the end sooner or later. Can't a person be himself and walk down a path he chose pu purely on his own, without anyone else's intervention? He may seem like a nobody, but he'll ultimately gain more. It's understandable to be afraid of what might happen between people. After all, I had the same fear. But without such emotions, we can't move forward. There might be difficult and trying times, but there's still a lesson to be learned from that pain. I don't know. Even if that were true, you're not one to lecture me about it. Oh, that makes me think that maybe the point where you reach the bad ends is gonna be whether or not you did the realizations for the sufferers. Because it seems like every sufferer will now receive one of the uninvited guests. And their hung up problems are gonna be reflective of what the sufferer had to go through both in Lobotomy Corporation and what they've shown to either Angela or Roland, I guess. Anyway. It's just, again, another theory. A game theory, huh? Such a bold thing to say after taking the lives of the people around me. We didn't kill them, we booked them. It's good, you're gonna learn to love it. I'm gonna book you too and I'm gonna keep you as far away from Yuna as possible. Also, Pamela and Pamela? No, 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 never gonna see them again. You thought they would step on you and you would, you could get to enjoy it? No, that's the manager's pleasure. I haven't come here to take revenge though. Most would say the same. All I want is a free life, one where I'm not chained to anything. I'm tired of having to worry about taking flack for anything I do. I guess I don't have any more arguments to make. I don't have a clear conscience about what I've been doing after all. There's only one way to settle this now. It's time for me to do what I must do. Get ready, guys. I will, Merkov. Thank you very much. I have no ill feelings. It's okay. Neither do we, Philip. I guess now he'll be harder to deal with than before? Miss Markov, what should we do now? He seems calmer than last time. He's changed a lot, and so have we. Don't get too nervous and take things on steadily. That music is great. Oh, they knock it out of the park with the music every time. Okay, waned even tight. Um, I need to. <laughs> oh god, I'm still using Flash of Sun up. Apparently, it's very bad. I don't care. Oh, we're gonna react with him. Tia Shankal immediately. Like, let's go all out and take this over. Flicked one burn to each other, only on Clash win. I kind of want to let him win then, I guess. Seems very similar to this card actually. Like, the rolls are very similar at least. And inflicting burn using combat pages to see and inflict one additional stack. Mm, that's a rather rather do this okay we need to take these over he seems to be a fully attacking Harry somehow like, what does he have against Harry Harry is a cute cute guy you know he's like doesn't afraid of anything and stuff oh god yeah Nicole you fucking deck give one protection to all allies to see yeah I can live with this um, also restore some light sure now Mark if it's gonna take this over with a... no. I'm gonna do this instead. Um, and this needs to be taken over still. We will just use this, I guess. Okay, let's see this happen. I, again, as I said, I might just completely lose this one right off the bat. Then again, he's almost at 15 burn already. He is now. I guess next scene, he will be more vulnerable when it comes to stagger damage. But I also assume that he's gonna um, deal some more damage or something, or like use like empowered cards or something. Okay, let's see if I can get my, my plan for this floor up and running in this one. It all hinges on Nicole. 
It still looks the same, but everything is fatal now. So I need to stagger him now. 138, like, could happen. Everyone is full light. It's actually really not that hard, to be honest. What if I keep him above 15? I wonder, I wonder. Okay. Hmm. Just do this. Um, man, if I had known that, like, Burn would play such a weird turn in this. Might have done it differently, I guess. Oh yeah, I have these too. Man, maybe I should use them. <laughs> Um, let's let's draw a page. Anything better? In combat start gain free protection. Well, it, that would only be useful if we tank something, but we don't. Anyone else have anything crazy? Like Malkov might awaken her Zhao ego during this fight. Down to 115. Down to 92. To 73, 53. Now this is where the small rolls will come in now, I guess. I might not be able to stack him in one turn, which would be very embarrassing. Oh, for fuck's sake, seven, seven stagger. Oh no, I guess we did it. Oh, he must. Oh yeah, the force of a wildfire, maybe, right? All of the allies are inflicted with burn equal to half the amount of burn this character at the start of the next. Huh? No, I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but. Um, apparently I need to kill these unspeaking charts now. Vanished mind. All dice lose zero power. Let's read them. Do they all have the same? They all have the same passives. Okay, so let's read them. Uh, speed dice slot plus one. Torched heart. Takes half as much damage from burn. Starting with the scene after it was spawned. Gain one strength and endurance every scene. That's... <sighs> Oof. Every scene. If the character is 50 or more burn at the start of the scene, become overheated, dealing more damage with attacks but becoming more vulnerable to stagger. Mm. While overheated, gain free fragile each scene. Also inflict one burn to target on hit. Uses a different set of combat pages. So do I just ignore him now? Well, I can't really ignore him when he uses this shit, but still. Strong second dice. Strong second dice, like... Oh, a flaming dragon fist would have been epic. Um, hmm. That could be considered a strong second dice. It could eat it up, like, very well, actually. It doesn't really matter if I hit them or not, I guess. Well, next up would be this, then. It's a ranged card, so... It needs a set of good dice altogether, like fiery walls. However, I'm gonna like, like this and then take over with this. Harry, what is your deck again? Like, why do you have two draw of the swords like this? What did I build with you? Bleed. And oh, well, I don't know what I did with you. To be honest, I can't remember. Harry, you could take over this one if you want to. And actually just ignore this. Same here, Markov, just ignore this one. 4 to 8 and feeble, I don't care. We kinda need to... Draw pages. Next turn we... Uh, we can do this now. The next time we can restore light with this. That wouldn't be too bad. Oh shit, we can actually not take anything else over though. Fuck. I mean, we can waste. But, oh, we can do this, I guess. And then Harry can, like, strictly use this to attack someone. 
Do I want to focus on one, I wonder? I kind of want to spread the burn. If possible, but... Ah, I don't know. Let's just... Uh, I'm, thi I'm thinking too much about this. Okay, Marka fucked up this one on him, and the second one also kind of, like, didn't go through. This hit twice. Okay. Okay, we destroyed one counter dice. Oh, they have the laugh back. Apparently the refrain hit as well. How much burn do they need in order to get, like, vulnerable? Um... Oof. Um, hmm. What do I want here? The problem with happy memories is that it depends on not having a, a, a singleton deck. But winning a clash deal bonus stagger damage equal to dice value 20% chance. Like giving this to Malkov and using her mass attack pages could be like the winning move. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is this one like not doing anything? I wonder. Flick one disarm and flick one feeble. Let's do it like that. Okay. Who else can take something over here? Like I, I assume you can. Emotional turbulence, maybe Camille. He has the most burn sticks. I guess as soon as one of them dies, he's gonna lose some dice power, which makes this bearable. Comet start when inflicting burn next scene, inflict two more stacks, gain two strength this scene. Don't really want to attack him other than this. Oh, Malkov. The fuck is that crap? <laughs> well, we can do this. Actually, oh man, I wish she got attacked, like having these two counters. Yeah, nah, it's not gonna happen, but... Game one strength is also not gonna help me too much, but I need to cycle through this. Okay, uh, I'm just strictly gonna focus on this one then, like this. And hope for the best. Fuck me, deals a lot of fucking damage. Wait, what happened there? Didn't I take it over? Well, apparently I didn't. I must have done something wrong. Great. Which means someone is gonna attack him against his counter dice instead. Thought I paid attention. <laughs> That's how it always is. I guess I didn't. Hey, here we go. Hot diggity doodle, we lost Hunter. Oh. You live and learn. Oof. Some very strong big rolls, you know. That could work. Here we go. We're gonna get attacked by that. But at the same time, we're gonna take this over like this, and we're also gonna take something else over. This, okay. I really need to restore light, that's a problem. Ah! This little asshole is still alive. He, he doesn't take burn damage, right? No, take half as much damage from burn. He's on six. He has ten burn. 
just a single burn would kill him, or a single attack, like regularly. Which means I'm not gonna bot too much. Yeah. Which also means I can focus on someone else, like 48 health, 46 health, 39 health. Yeah. Oh no, this one. I need to take over this one. Like this. Now this one is free. Yeah, well, this one will just go through, I don't really care. Knock of tank a little, I guess. There's no dice on this slot yet. Oh, I said Knock of tank a little, but she's very likely to get staggered this turn. Good, Harry, good. No, Malkov, no! Oh, something is fucking with the rolls here, yeah, definitely. Oh. Thank god they call this tanky as shit. Um, here we go. Oh, this is just gonna be shit now. Or is it? Well... No, I'm still gonna take it, I think. Destroy all of Target's dice. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it because they still take damage, you know? Even if it's just a tiny amount. And it's still gonna take up some of these, you know? So, uh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna make sure that he's hit by that. Oh boy. Okay, Nicole is gonna die due to the fact that he has a very, like, he has an obsession <laughs> apparently with her. However, um, actually, there's nothing, nothing else to add to this. Minecraft would also like take a very strong beating if I don't take this over. So now only Nicole is gonna die. We might be able to kill another one. Here we go, all dice lose one power. Alright. It all hit. Damn! Okay, this one is dead. Didn't even take as much as I queued up on it. Legitimately can't tell if burn is good or not on this fucking floor. It's burning again, which means I could again stagger him, but I assume I want to kill them first or something. That's just so many dice to go around. Okay, if I do this right, I'm, I'm gonna kill, kill all of them now. Let's just do this. The dead, basically. Rate to six, four to eight. This. Um, let's see. Camille, how high is your like free? Oof. Just gonna have to hope for the best here. This could work actually. Don't even need to fuck around with this one too much. Okay, I might just do nothing. Then again, he's burning, so I should try to stagger him. But the fact that he's using this makes me a little bit afraid, to be honest. I'm just gonna react to it. Anyway. Oh, Camille, don't bite the bullet! One HP! She's 
just gonna die to burn next turn. Or even earlier, I guess. Oh, this asshole. Question is, is he gonna die or not? Yeah, okay. Crap. Um... It's free strength and free haste to see. It won't help you. Wait, he only loses one power? I thought he lost as much power as he lost, like, children. God damn it, this makes it kinda hard. If I knew that there was another, like, phase like that coming, uh, and I could assume it, I would most likely choose this. But sustain-wise, Wingbeat would be better. Okay, Mark have awakened at least. Harry, what is wrong with your deck? Can you tell me what I did there? I legitimately don't know. Seven, ten. Ten to a maximum of twenty-five. Ooh, if you rolled high, that's not good. I'd rather take the sixty, the eight to sixty. Um Okay, here we go. We could be What do we use up with this? It's 10, 14, up to a maximum of 27, I believe. Wait, no. 26. Yeah, I should use it up like that. I should eat it with this. Which doesn't leave me with a lot of... Oh, man. I can't just ignore this one, I think. Okay, this is the turn that could make or break it. Oh, he rolled a fucking 28! You fucking asshole! I can't believe it! Oh, he rolled a fucking 28! He rolled a 20 as well on this one?! Are you kidding me?! He rolled a 20 as well on this one?! Two mass attacks and he rolled the exact same number he needed to roll?! This is bullshit! This is fixed, I swear to god. Oh, for fuck's sake. End it, Philip. End it. But I will return. Right now, actually. I'm gonna fucking beat your ass in. It's time to concentrate. It's also time to admit that I'll most likely only do one fight per episode. <laughs> I guess at least if there's a lot of story. Concentrate
I can't believe I did it like that. <laughs> this is so goofy. But it's exactly the kind of win I want. A very clutch tight win. Because the tighter the better. That's my creed in life. Cotton call for the reception of the grandchildren. Which makes my previous remark a little bit weird. Considering that it's called the crank joke. Whatever. The rewards for the reception of the reverberation ensemble can only be redeemed once. Confirm. <clears throat> we resolved Philip's page and rekindled strike. It's a shame I can't look at it, and I assume by the mechanics I also won't be able to look at it because I can't burn pages or some stuff. Um But I hope it's gonna be a nice addition to this floor. Man, Nicole. Very proud of her. Both Malkov and Nicole carried this. I, the others, they did their part too. I I gotta say, like all of these nuggets pulled their weight this time. Um, great. Next time, I can I. I can pause in between. I've been told at least <laughs> I can pause in between. Uh, so next episode is gonna be Yesod and. Am I still able to change? I am able to change it, but I might not able. Uh, I might not change them now. Can I? What if I fail? Yes or now? Am I gonna have to do Malkov again? Whatever. Next time, yes or and hopefully hard because if we cut away like the big story segment at the beginning of the episode, I might be able to fit in two fights per episode, which makes it awkward for Nat's accents. Like, yes. uh, maybe I can fit in all three if I'm really quick and if, if they're really su successful. Oof. <sighs> It's kind of harder than I thought it would be. Bye.